What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, Something for the People, where the evolved hustler comes to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. So, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday. I was working on uploading the YouTube and the Patreon readings, uh, which Patreon will have the extended reading from yesterday. So make sure you guys check that out. Turn on your notifications if you subscribe. That way you know when. Um, that way you know when it's already come. So I'm looking now, y'all, and it looks like the Law of Detachment episode uh, with the visuals yesterday did upload. And obviously the Law of Detachment um, uploaded for, uh, the live reading too. So check those out. If you have a chance, I'm going to, I'm downloading now, like I said, to get the extended reading up on Patreon. So it's, it's doing this thing. It's, you know, it's like 20 minutes long. So, um, you know, hold out, hold out, soon come. <laughs> but yeah, y'all like, yeah, technology has been kind of acting kind of weird lately. So like I said, Charges to me and on my heart. I'm definitely moving at the pace that spirit allows me to move at. We're getting these messages out for you guys. Um, today is Wednesday. Wednesday's Mercury rule. So, you know, movement, communication, um, time to learn some things today. If you want to take a quick certification or YouTube University, you know how that works. Um, today is a good day for luck, travel, trade. Um, again, communication, you're going to be increasing your, working on increasing your focus and your alertness today. Today is all about the prosperity within the business world and taking gambling. So again, y'all know I say you like to go to the casino, then, you know, today might be a day you want to go to the casino or play the lotto. You know, if you're feeling lucky, if it's in the stars for you. Um, today is a great day to make money charms and, you know, be mindful of people trying to distract or mislead you because those workings are going to be running rampant today. There's obviously uh, work as well, uh, dealing with chaos and confusion and even stop gossip. So, you know, call your power back, you know, keep your protection going and just learn how to alchemize and transmute that energy. Uh, today is also a good day for quick cash spells. So you need a little quick dollar to take us some right quick. You know, today is going to be a good day for that. Now, the moon itself is waning, Gibbous in Aquarius. So, you know, Aquarius is simply uh, originality, um, connections, um, relationships. Aquarius is about um, socializing art as well and even friendship. So, get your networking up today. Use that. Um, Mercury and Gemini energy to your advantage. If it's something is waning, that is just the essentially the idea that you want to remove or banish or um, neutralize anything that's standing in the way of that for you. You know what I'm saying? You do not want to be bothered with that energy today. So, you know, what threatens your originality? What threatens you from making proper connections? Um, what stops you from creating and um, receiving fairness and justice? Um, what stops you from approaching things in that energy? Whatever that may be, you want to make sure you move that shit out your way with the quickness. Call your power back. I'm trying to make sure I get it all down for the win and give us. Okay, yeah. Repelling, banishing, destroying unwanted things, introspection, um, clarity, and, of course, alignment. So, get in line, boss. Get in line. Let me see if there are any significant um, aspects going on today, y'all, that we need to be wary of. Or not wary, but made knowledgeable, you know. Let me know what I need to know. Now, the next one is tomorrow. The Mercury and Taurus is going to full go full conjunction with Uranus and Taurus. So, um, yeah, this did. So, nothing significant today that we need to be focused on out the way, really. The Sun in Gemini is transiting three planets, um, aspecting rather. Well, no, transiting three planets. The aspects are conjunction in Venus and Jupiter, um, both in Gemini. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So you'll see a lot of quick movement, people making a lot of decisions. People are being more chatty, more social, be ready to get out, um, network. People are finding their tribe, who they are aligning with. Um, that's being shown. So, you know, be yourself, be who you are so that you can align with the people that you're really supposed to be aligning with energetically. The sun in Gemini is trending Pluto in Aquarius, which is retrograding right now. So you are being given the option to like reflect um, on the changes you need to make, uh, what's right, what is going to propel you to this new state. Y'all know um, if you are part of Patreon, you can go look up the book uh, that I have there for the zodiac signs and any of these planets. Like you would take the attributes of the planet, the attributes of the sign and like what does Pluto do? Transform and rebirth. Okay. Uh, endings, but Pluto is also an ending for good things because if you allow yourself to walk through the shadows and then come out on the other side, you have, you know, transformed from a rock into a diamond, so to speak. So you would utilize those characteristics and those attributes to fuel whatever Aquarius, you know, can or cannot do for you. Um, now, wherever you have Aquarius in your chart, that's going to be where it's most strong. So you might want to focus on that area to get you where you need to go. Um, that's that's why it's very important to know your chart uh, because you will be able to kind of use an energy to work on, you know, work throughout the day and get what you need done and shit. Uh, because, you know, the aspects give you the opportunity like, OK, your son in Gemini is training Pluto and Aquarius. You know, what does that mean for you? Where is Gemini in your chart? And even if Gemini is not in your chart, say you don't have that sign um, in your chart, you know, just think about what Gemini represents. You know what I'm saying? I always say using your natal chart, using like magic, alchemy, conjure, root work, all that shit is a science. Just like when you go bake a cake, you feel me? Um, you got to know the correct mathematic proportions. You got to know what to put, what does what. You know, when you bake something like a cookie, you're doing all your dry ingredients first. Then you're putting in all your wet ingredients. And if you feel what I'm putting down, you realize that that is also such is life, you know what I'm saying? Such is alchemy, such is conjure, such is root work. So, you know, don't let nobody play on your top and play you small with how you are working with energy. If you've been called or, you know, decided that this is something you are wanting to work with, you know, you might not want to do um, or have been, you know, called to do something like professionally with it. Maybe you just utilize it for your day-to-day -day life, you know, to make, make it easier make it flow you know what i'm saying so just because you get into this you know maybe you're getting into it for the purpose to elevate your own personal journey you know what i'm saying so but only you know that um because what it's in the sun the moon the stars in your chart you'll see what you're called to do based on what's there you know and there'll be several avenues but anyway that you could pick along the way but anywho before I got off into that little rant, <laughs> the moon in Aquarius right now is square Mercury in, um, what's my green? Is it still in Taurus? Yo, y'all, y'all know my brain be ADHD. -ing. Okay. Yeah. So Mercury in Taurus. So Taurus is slow to communicate. Uh, Taurus wants everything to be meticulous and right and good and feel good and be luxurious and be cool. You know, so that moon in Aquarius is ready to get a move on it. You know, Aquarius rules the legs. So Aquarius is ready to get up and go. Um, I found it, always found it funny how different zodiacs rule, like, different parts of the body. And if you, like, pay attention to how the, um, the omnic works, like, you'll see it moving from, like, Aries, your head, to your shoulders, to your heart, to your stomach, to your digestive system. Like, it'll go all the way down. So, now, we working on, we left out of Capricorn, which rules the knees. Now, Aquarius is saying, get on up, walk. And Taurus is like, no. Taurus is like, no, don't do that. So they not even don't do that. Taurus is really on some shit like, hey, we taking our time. We doing this right. We got long things to harvest. And they kind of having a little minor conflict today because of that. So again, you know, I know how I say, alchemize that energy. And if you feel a pull to do something different, definitely do so. 
the moon is sextile mars and aries so they are getting um you're getting those secondhand harmonious blessings from getting a move on it and starting something new you know feeling that fire to really succeed um you know your only competition is yourself you know what i mean so definitely keep that in mind um and aries is all about new starts and beginnings and um getting out of your head so you know allow yourself to move forward in the physical as well as the spiritual realm um now moon and gemini is squaring both jupiter and uranus which is interesting today because i feel like jupiter is in gemini and uranus is in taurus so that's interesting because um hold on let me see something. wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute yeah <laughs> well, I had to make sure y'all know you got to refresh on Astro Seat. Um, by the way, if you're new here, get on astroseat.com and you can see exactly what I see every single day. I just, you know, break it down, hoodoo and um, evolved hustler style. But, you know, it's there for you if you want to take a peek. Um, so, yeah, the moon in Gemini is squaring Jupiter in Taurus. I mean, I'm sorry, Jupiter and Gemini and Uranus in Taurus. Ooh, Uranus is at zero degrees. Uh, wow, that's interesting. I'm surprised they didn't list that as something significant for today. Hold up, now. Let me get out my trusty paper that I need to go and write up in my notes. Because the paper I all torn up. Wow, have mercy. Y'all, I'd be like a mad scientist. But it's right there. Okay. So, Uranus is individuality, creativity, culture, and generation. Ooh, it's a shift today. A major shift. Why did they say that? Why did they talk about that? Mm. I mean, zero degrees to zero, zero. Like, absolute. So, making a move right now, there's a little bit of a minor conflict with that shit. People is not wanting to see that change happen. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know, with the wars and with um, culture shifts and, like, celebrity personalities and what people deem as something they want to follow and what they want, what they deem as influential has shifted. Yeah. So people are kind of having a, a tiff about that um, individuality. Mm. You know, not going along with the crowd, not going along to get along, you know, carving out your unique tribe. Yeah, so it's a little resist, not a little, I'm going to say a, a significant resistance at zero degrees to zero degrees. Mercury is sextile Saturn in Pisces, um, Mercury in Gemini. Ooh, hold on. Wait, my bad, y'all. Mercury and Taurus. Lord have mercy. Some told me, not some spirit told me to scroll up and look again. Like, look again, girl. Cause, <laughs> okay, Mercury and Taurus. Mercury and Taurus is sextile Saturn in Pisces. And Mercury and Taurus is conjuncting Uranus and Taurus. Mm. Slow and steady wins the race. Not really want to make that significant shift. Being really kind of slow about that shit, honestly. But I feel like it'll be worth it at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? If done the correct way. Venus in um, Gemini is conjuncting Jupiter in Gemini and trending Pluto in Aquarius. Relatable. You're relatable. You're relatable. You're expanding because you're relatable. You're relating to a lot more people that vibe on your frequency. You're relatable because you love yourself and you love yourself enough to transform and change. And therefore, you'll get those training Pluto and Aquarius blessings. You're reflecting on what it was and what it's going to be for you in the near future. Jupiter in um, Gemini is sextile Neptune in Pisces and training Pluto and Aquarius retrograde at one degrees. Almost an absolution of realizing like in order for you to expand, um, in order for you to grow, you've got to tap into your creativity, uh, creating the life you want, you know, um, you know, use your intuition right now move with your intuition jupiter is trending pluto in aquarius so change changing transformation is supported change is good that's what spirit said realize that change is good don't fight the flow neptune is sextile pluto in aquarius retrograde the node which is in aries 
is sextile the sun in Gemini. So your higher self, your external self ego, your high your your potential is heavily based on your ability to follow your destiny, your purpose, you know, your light. Uh that's your north node. Your south node is dealing with your shadows, your past life, you know, um your karma, your destiny for that, you know, based on that. So, you know, follow that light. <laughs> follow the light, Carolyn. <laughs> You don't know that movie, you, you too young. I won't say you too young to be listening, but if you an 80s baby, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Anyway, Lily doing her big one. She back. She back. Like, like, crack, like, could crack. I don't know why I wanted to say that, but it just rhymed, and I feel like I heard it in some cool movie. Anyway, Lilith and Virgo is cleaning house and exposing, um, you know, you operating within your free will with this King Kooks, uh, moon in Aquarius. Um, so you got the willpower to tap into your creativity, your originality, like to shed whatever's holding you back from there, do the shadow work so you can get to, you know, your good point, like training all the way down Mercury and in Taurus, Jupiter and Gemini and Uranus and Taurus. So it's kind of like, Mm, getting along is supporting cleaning house how you think how you speak what you learn what you focused on your expansion your growth jupiter is like about heavy like religion work too like spirit i want to say religion my man let me back this quote spiritual work because we do spirituality over here um uranus is training that energy you know it's like if you cool with being weird, then if you cool with not fitting the the mold that was set during Pluto and Capricorn, you you you're doing good right now. It feels weird, but something good is happening. You know what I'm saying? It'll all fall into place. Lilith and Virgo is opposing Neptune and Pisces. Still, y'all know how I feel. It's gonna happen until the end of June. But, you know, so people are still kind of dealing with their illusions and delusions, not following their intuition. You know, you see a lot of people doing it. You know, the veil is very thin right now. You can't hide much also. So it's a lot of hostility because of that. Lilith is training Pluto and Aquarius, considering that uh, there is need for reflection. There is need for growth. There is need for fairness and um, justice among friend groups, among networking parties, among communities, you know. Reflect on communities that you were a part of that you no longer fit, you know. Yeah, so a lot of that's being challenged, too. Like, if you a part of some group and you don't fit that group no more, you're going to feel that shit this season. Chiron and Aries, and I feel like they, they are retrograding, too. No, 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 my bad. The nodes are, are retrograding, so reflection. A lot of people is dealing with their past shit right now. They facing. The past has come back to knock. That's why that girl was like, oh, um, what she said? She was like, it feel like Mercury retrograde a little bit. The reason it feel like that is because the nodes are retrograding. That's why. That's why you feel like. You in Mercury retrograde, but you not. You just, it's the optical illusion of, you know, thinking things are going to stay the same. But in reality, shit is really changing quite quickly. You just got to get on, get on board. Um, but it's sextile the moon in Aquarius. And, ooh, Chiron conjuncting Mars is another absolution. Zero degrees, zero four. Um, so, mm, mm. You being pushed, baby. Spirit said, walk the plane, push your ass, fly. Fly, little birdie, fly. <laughs> if you feel like that today. <laughs> ah, that's why. If you feel like that today, y'all. Um, Today, I want to kind of touch on, once again, now I'm going to start getting into my subjects. So, with the collective reading for today, there is a lot going on. There's a lot of clarity being had after a season of chaos and confusion. And our elevated ancestors are here to kind of give us 
a little bit alert us of something that's going on with that Wednesday energy, alert of us of what's going around us. Um, in the past, there may have been a Bishop C.H. Mason. Someone just didn't do the right thing, uh, a Taurus energy here. Someone didn't do the right thing, Father of Coins in reverse. This person was actually very greedy. Um, they were not having their priorities in the right space. Uh, we got the two of coins in reverse and they were being exposed. Like they were moving in a very like deceptive energy with this five of nines in reverse. And now they are looking to um, move forward after this with the railroad bill card. Like they, they're looking to move forward. They received some sort of clarity about their stubbornness with the um, four of knives in the reverse with the clarified by the seven of baskets. Yeah, somebody realizes something. They realized they were stubborn. Yeah, and that's the truth with the ace of swords coming out in the upright from the traditional deck. Yeah, so now they've gained the strength that they need to do the necessary work. And, yeah, they don't want something to end. Death is in reverse. Yeah, they don't want something to end. They're inspired to collaborate with the collective now. Like, they see that they were dealing with people who weren't sacred, who weren't thorough. Yeah, they didn't believe it. They didn't believe it at first. Yeah, but this shit is no longer a mystery to them now. And now they cannot rest. They are, they are not rest because they see they were conned. Yep, they were dealing in bad energy. And now, again, secret in reverse, this has been exposed. They remember something. Yeah, they remember. They, their memory um, about losing something here um, is really bothering them. Mm -hmm. Could be the collective. Now, in the present energy, you have the black Herman here um, indicating that someone was being manipulative. Uh, we got the mother sticks in reverse clarifying that there could be a fire sign feminine um, with the Gemini energy. Yeah, someone was, this mother sticks was trying to manipulate the situation with the seven of sticks. And she was fighting very hard to do this like this person just would not let up and i know y'all know this fire sign feminine really is doing way too much and she been doing way too much for fucking weeks sorry um but yeah we got the seven of sticks it's a really gross energy she's crazy uh with the seven of sticks here she definitely was fighting hard because she has some plans or some goals with the son of sticks and the upright for a father of sticks um in the upright she has some plans and some goals so she was manipulating the energy um to stop um some sort of new beginning from happening uh but somebody had their own plans their own goals okay so she had plans for these to manipulate this father sim i mean i'm sorry this father of sticks in the other right um uh, but this father sim uh with the four sticks in reverse always had plans and goals was working hard to end this partnership he was working hard to end this he did not want this shit to go eight of coins and this is something that um he was keeping a secret with the Dr. Grant in the upright, like Hermit. This person was holding this information that they wanted to move on. Six of knives in the um in the upright. Yeah, they was holding that shit, baby. They they was holding the fact that they they wanted to they was not into it. They weren't going. Um, so let's see what else we got. So then you got this where is this? I don't hold up. So then you came up and this person decided that they was going to move on, but they was keeping this shit a secret because uh, we got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they decided that they were not going to extend this long term offer um, to someone with the Knight of Cups in the upright, uh, but they went ahead. They knew they weren't going to like give this person a long-term offer but they came in as if they really was like in love with this queen of wands in reverse this person was definitely manipulating this relationship someone lacked some sort of confidence here um the star in reverse aquarius energy they lacked the confidence that this um king of wands in the upright would return and uh release this burden you know they lacked that confidence so they were attempting to like slow them down the knight of wands in the, in the i'm sorry knight of swords in the reverse they were trying to slow this person down um this king of pentacles in the reverse from like by having him focus on materialism um 
they were trying to play on this person's intuition, this person's mind. This um, they wanted to slow them down. They did not want. They wanted him to stay in this King of Pentacles in reverse mode. Um, they didn't want him to extend an offer to this high priestess energy. Um, they didn't want her them to consider the high priestess even as an option to get an uh, offer. So they were trying to avoid some sort of ending with the tower in reverse here. Yeah, these people were definitely like making like power moves but it looks like you know it's a guy get you got you because everybody was playing everybody and it's, it's really interesting what's going on in this circle of people right now now the collective there is an empress um here with the aries energy there's an empress here who definitely needs to continue to follow their instincts about what's going on around them somebody was trying to stop you from taking a leap of faith and um they because they were trying to avoid a tower themselves so they was telling like lies this daughter of baskets energy this could be a, a water sign feminine energy someone was really telling some sort of lies here they they were telling some sort of lies about the ending of a partnership or not making some sort of decision courting in reverse gemini energy they so now there is hope there is help on the way so the five of coins indicates that this empress energy here there was just somebody trying to play on your top like everybody playing mind games you know what i'm saying um but spirit is saying that maybe there was some sort of renewal of faith here maybe um your faith has been renewed after you were told some sort of lie or after you, about someone ending something because we got that five of coins there some sort of situation somebody runs to return um but we got some about like a negative attach they got some sort of negative attachment to them um they they no 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 someone definitely they they had some attachments because they were trying to have their wishes fulfilled. They were trying to have some sort of material gain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person wanted some sort of victory. They they were looking to win at all costs. So they were trying to stop Ace of Sticks in reverse. They were trying to stop someone's growth, possibly yours. They wanted to stop you guys from growing. It could have been a Leo, big um, mama in reverse, represents the sun in reverse. So it looks like someone was trying to hide that they were trying to stop you from moving forward. Mm. They were trying to hide it, baby. They were trying to hide it. Yeah, they were very, like, steadfast about this shit. Um, Spirit wants you to know nine of sticks in the upright to continue to protect your energy against this Leo energy. They don't want to see someone come towards you. They don't want you to get this offer, uh, this long-term offer, this ace of coins in the upright. Um, and because they look at it as an injustice, they look at it like it shouldn't be happening. Um, Libra energy. Yeah. So they are trying to, they're very passionate about these two. Um, they're very passionate to throw you in this wheel of fortune. They, they don't want this person to rekindle this relationship with you. Mm. Yeah, so we got the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they want to stop someone from offering something because it's in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. So all this is about these two parties working together and the energies around these two parties are doing their damn just to stop them from working together. Because we got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Death in reverse. Yeah, somebody does not want to see this situation turn around. Somebody doesn't want to see this situation transform into a happy new beginning for both parties, for ones and the other right that's sad you want to have that much control yeah someone is they want someone needs to get their priorities in order and um take this offering of healing like somebody's trying to do something or they trying to get they, they self together then we got the page of swords in reverse indicating that someone is no longer thinking about some sort of uh relationship here some sort of new beginning uh within this collaboration mm. yeah it could be this knight of wands in reverse uh this person is no longer looking to make this decision they're no longer they they've decided against they don't want to collaborate they don't want to work with these third parties anymore that they, they were stuck on because we got the hangman they were stuck but it looks like someone has gathered their strength Again, Leo energy. Um, they've gathered their strength. Uh, 
this this person was trying really really hard to stop the healing for this uh, queen of cups they did not want somebody to come towards this person and heal this energy yeah they didn't want this person to care about you um spirit wants you to know to continue to like defend yourself someone's uh keep your boundaries up someone is um, not consumed with peace they want there to be continue to be chaos they want you to just continue to fight with this person that is their intention um they want you to lack confidence to um they want this person to they want they don't want you to be your true self they don't want somebody to reveal something or reveal them truth their true selves gemini energy yeah they trying to keep someone trapped freedom in reverse spirit wants you to follow your instincts about these people they a beast now in the near future you can expect to realize that some cycle has not ended um someone is still um worried or um in their mind about a mother of baskets in the upright the mother figure they are they worry they feel in some type of way yeah they 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 feel away they they regret some shit they regret it they regret it they they they, they in their feels and it could be this father of knives in reverse this person was manipulated they were controlling maybe they were a little stubborn yeah, and they looking to try to reconcile. They they trying to recover something. They want to heal. Yeah, so but they are trying to find their way out of this predicament that they found themselves in. Eleven fifty five on the timestamp. Yeah, they got a lot of hidden things, uh, hidden challenges that they have to overcome. One of them being a ten of coins energy in reverse. They fighting over money. They don't have stability. Um, and this is time nine of coins because they dealing with a lot of low level ass energy, trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to look a certain type of way. Um, and they are you know looking back on how they the consequences of their actions, the shit that they did. Seven of coins in reverse. They looking back on it and nine of knives in reverse. They really thinking hard about the fact that they made this sort of investment. They planted their seeds somewhere where shit doesn't grow. And now um this Leo energy back again, you they were they're in despair. They they trying to rebuild themselves, honey. They trying to rebuild themselves because they know they made a the wrong move. Page of Wands, yeah. Somebody is really working hard. Two, four, six, seven, eight of one, eight of swords. Yeah, they made some sort of immature move. Some they told some sort of lie. They rushed and told, said something they shouldn't have said, and attached themselves um to some sort of entity. Um, but this person's not worried though, or spirits telling you to not worry. And let me see why. You shouldn't worry because this King of Cups is fighting. They're fighting. They battling, <laughs> they battling these because they know this betrayal shouldn't have happened. You know they they trying to stop these from happening. They realize that they they couldn't move forward. Cancer energy, yeah, they couldn't move forward with this Queen of Swords in reverse, and that has been revealed. So spirits like, don't worry, no worries. <laughs> like future say, no worries. Yeah, something's being revealed. Yeah, somebody's not able to work as hard as something um, to stop some sort of wish fulfillment anymore, some sort of offer. And this could be this Empress in reverse, Aries energy as well. Yeah, someone is going to need some, they're going to offer something up, some sort of life. Yeah, they can't come after you. They they, they need their own help, okay? Yeah. They focused on their own getting help for their own shit. So someone can no longer come after your family. Mm. So overall, we got the Ace of Knives uh, being someone's getting some clarity about a breakup um, that was caused by a mother of knives. Like, claim some clarity. This mother of knives in, did this. Um, and you may be receiving communication about this um, shortly. But there is also a mother of coins involved. Somebody with very self-absorbed energy. Um, they believed that they were the star. They wanted to be the main character. It was all about them. 1133 confirmation on the time. 
Yeah, they were very confident. They they knew, but this was a toxic family. This was a toxic stability. Someone had decided to try to, like, they knew this person would want to do the right thing, even though the family was toxic. Um, So, but this stopped their progress. This decision stopped their progress, stopped them from moving forward Um, because they needed to release this. Yep. They needed to release these. They went the wrong way, so the sticks in reverse. They made some sort of move they shouldn't have made towards these three of baskets, this collaboration. They they shouldn't have done it. They they realized that though. Like I said, we got clarity all over the board here. Yeah. And this person's passionate here. This son of knives is passionate about whatever was being hidden. Cause we got the cancer energy with the Pa card, which is the moon card. Yeah, there was a secret. Somebody was hiding that they were, like, attached to some dark entities or they weren't. These people, these women, were hiding that they had, like, bad energy, period. They, they, they reasons for doing shit was backwards. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was hiding that this, this, this emperor, they were trying to, oh, somebody was hiding that they were trying to control an emperor. Yeah, and they was trying to do so, but somebody really is walking in faith. They have faith um, that they can have a rebirth. This person is not giving up without a fight. Um, continue to be discerning about who you trust with the Ten of Knives here. Um, because someone here, Four of Coins, somebody needs to release the idea of being like a Trojan horse or like appearing more than what they are. Uh, this is, you know, release that burden. This person has a lot of like baggage and debt um they made a bad judgment call that they're still kind of they had, they need to release these energies real bad um and make some sort of decision to move forward positively with the three of sticks in the upright yeah this this person you know they can't have they gotta release this they 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 gotta release it so they can heal you know they haven't healed because they need to let go of these three of coins this this collaboration for these investments um could be including a father seems in reverse te um uh, temperance um sagittarius it's a lot of imbalance in this investment you know should the mom should be the energy we got the miss item in reverse yeah somebody was definitely being manipulative trying to be strategic could be that energy um they played on somebody's immaturity son of baskets in reverse yeah this son of baskets was not being smart they were not paying attention to the signs and the warnings and that's why they are in despair that's why they in loss right now on five of baskets in the reverse because they self-sabotaged the father of baskets yeah, they realized they self-sabotaged, and that's why they weren't receiving this victory. Um, they were moving in the Emperor in reverse energy, trying to be controlling uh, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And also, there was a King of Swords in reverse. Like I said, it's a lot of people involved in this shit. Yeah, all these people was working together. One, two, and it's three ones, two. Somebody made a decision about this, though, about these people. Somebody lost. We got three ones, then we got a king of swords in reverse, a queen of pentacles in reverse, and an emperor in reverse. Somebody that made a decision about these three parties. Yeah, they see their will of fortune is in reverse. <laughs> they see they, they see these people, they ain't no winning. Yeah, they've been thinking about this shit a lot. And they are definitely in despair and regret here. Because they gave out their love to the wrong people. Yeah, they was a fool. They took some sort of leap of faith. Yeah, so now spirit has stepped in. Or now this person wants to do the right thing. But they're hiding something, though. The moon card. They're hiding. They're hiding this battle that they're going through. Yeah, they hide and they, they know in order. Oh, okay, okay. They hide and that in order to win this battle, they got to move forward. They got to get out of this. They made a decision, though, to a, four, to a ones to um return to something. They they see okay okay they see that they they decision to turn to return to some was bad judgment call yeah but there's still something somebody's hiding some sort of commitment let me see yeah they hiding some sort of commitment though yeah they they hiding they still haven't ended all this they still haven't cleaned up all their mess they still gotta release some shit. Mm hmm And they it's not they're not putting in the work that they should. They're not working as hard as they should um to do this. That's why they goals and shit not coming through for them. 
Yeah, these are some challenges that this person is continuously having to go through right now. Yeah, justice is being served. There is no light on that side of the space. Yeah, the justice is somebody's not getting a wish fulfillment. Somebody's not getting stability within a lover situation. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, they they want this um, ten of pentacles, um, but they have to get out of poverty. You know what I'm saying? They went after these, but they were manipulated by this temperance in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were manipulated into reconciling with this person. And that stopped their progress. That stopped their movement forward. And now they try to trap. This person was trapping them. But somebody uh, has stepped into their wisdom error. And they've decided to heal themselves. They, had, they found the courage to heal and grow. Um, so now balance is being restored. Ooh, and that's my motherfucking word. That's running up the dick. It was so messy. It's so many. It's so many people and energies trying to control this masculine. It's ridiculous. Okay, and they, but this masculine is like widening up. And I say masculine, masculine energy it could be a feminine heavy in their masculine, but somebody is definitely following their instincts now. And spirit is also telling you to watch who you trust and who you deal with, and continue to keep your boundaries up as well as you move through this portion of the the story. Because it's a lot of people that don't want to see this union come together. And you're going to find some people that's like wanting you guys not to be partners. And they might try to come, you know, if you can't beat them, join them energy. And spirit like, uh-uh, stay in hermit mode, stay to yourself. Let this masculine energy work out whatever they need to work out. And you, you know, you stay in attraction energy. You stay in receiving energy. Avoid these people. You know, stay in your power. Because all they trying to do is rule some shit. All they trying to do is manipulate the situation. And they're going to continue to do it. Because that's what they want. They job. That's their job. Their job is to stop this partnership from coming together. You know? So this masculine, you got to find balance. They got to grow. They got to heal. They got to get smart about the what these people are doing. Like this masculine, you know, was very much like dedicated loyal but to the point of like immaturity you know holding on to things from the past and because you guys have like this attachment it's kind of like it could affect you so you you want to make sure that you are keeping your boundaries up until this person does what they need to do to release these people because you don't need these people around your plans at all moving forward nope you don't need them around you they work hard though. Whew. Jesus. I might go live later, y'all, to see what else is up with this situation. Cause it's 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 deep. Made for TV drama type shit. You know? But if you guys on the like I say, I guess it's a Mercury Day, it's confusion day, but you need to need somebody need to release these folks because they don't mean them no good. But anywho, if you would like to um get a reading. I will be available today for readings as well as Evolved Hustler sessions. So click the link in my bio to book. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, share, and subscribe um, as I get ready to upload these videos. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much for continuing to engage and subscribe and let people know what I've got going on. Yes, so we will be tapping in, you know, to put the different versions of this reading like i said on youtube and patreon the extended reading will go on patreon so y'all can see what's going on but yes y'all i love you and i pray this message you know give someone the clarity that they need to keep fighting for what they believe in and keep being strong even in the face of adversity but we'll chat soon y'all bye <laughs>